Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm the Nerd Bird and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. Those of you who haven't played it, it's a grand strategy game for those of you that have, welcome. We are going to be playing as the People's Republic of China today. With our glorious leader Mao Zedong. We're a communist government which means we never have to have an election. And it also means that we have enemies on all sides. We are keeping historical AI focuses on. Just because we... And here we are. We are a little piranha and big water sharks. And the problem with having a province so small is first of all you get jackal research I know a lot of people will generally generally Go here and here for the first ones. If you're only looking with two research slots, it's a little bit hard. Plus the fact that it's Basically, you cannot really build much. But generally, they will, most, most people I've seen play this will go down both these lines. I can understand the machine tools to get the efficiency cap. But if you're a little province like this, and you go, oh, how about a factory? Yeah, no. You really cannot build much. But the first thing I will do is build myself an airport. Because I plan to go to war with these. Possibly Tibet, Nepal, Bhutan. Hopefully, before the Japanese invade, I can expand out this way. Hopefully, China won't cause me much problems. Which they usually don't at the start. But, I'm going to set up... Front line there. Some other one victory point. With the offensive line there. So this will be the first province I'll take. There really isn't much for resources there. In fact, there's nothing for resources in Shangzi. Bit of tungsten over here. But one plan I do have is if I can get them to have a revolution, and maybe I can get them to split there. Which will enable me to take Sejuan and take this deal. And then move in, take the royal. Because otherwise, there really isn't much unless I fight my way over into Iran. Possibly Iraq. But once the war kicks off, things get a little weird. Okay. 
Okay, so national focus, industrial effort. So that I can go as fast as I can to pick up that extra resource slot. And along the way, I'll get a little bit of infrastructure, a couple of civilian factories. Right. Start the timer, shall we? And the other problem with such a small province is the fact that there really isn't much going on at the start. And therein lies the other issue. Well, uh, Trade up some units. When they spawn, I'll make them the Southern Army. This will be. Ba -da 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 -da. Shengzi Front. Spanish Civil War already. Okay. What will this mean for Spain? So, justify our war goal. Take Sanji. We are going to improve relations with Russia. We're going to try and get the Russian faction, which will protect us from Japan. Boost communism in China. And this should be good to go. June twenty eighth. So three months. Germany took the Rhineland. Means Germany's getting ready to go, and the Republicans are already getting their asses kicked in Spain. I don't really think there's much else going on in Europe at the moment. Nope. Uh, What's going on in war tension? It would help if I made the time go fast, or go forward at least. I need that production efficiency cap. Actually, I need that civilian factory. Ah, I imported the wrong one. Didn't need that. I need steel. Okay. Theory. I'm making thirty a day there. So yeah, so the plan is this is a puppet of Japan. So if I can take Sangji, then I'll have to build a front along here for when Japan decides to invade. But if I can somehow, oh, 
Not aggression pact. A one more point to join the Russian faction. And the Russian faction will also help me by generally sending volunteers if I need them. If I start getting my ass kicked, which generally does happen. And we're a month and a half from justifying our war goal. Ten percent democratic. That's uh, not a great pack of Mongolia. Come on, one more point. Probably at the end of this month. Almost done. Pretty soon, China should I should be getting my first Chinese Civil War one could pop up. effort is going to be a, an important one to get. We'll go on an effort. So we have one factory we're using to build that. It'll be complete at the end of the year. Just got my first three units ready there. I think we're eight days from our first war. No. Still a month away. But... How are we doing up here? Not quite there yet. So we got basic machine tools. Uh, get there so that we can get the increased retention. And when the Japanese decide to start bombing the shit out of me. We can take care of them. This is the month that we go to war. And I don't like how China is moving in on my borders. They don't have a guarantor. 
But you, do you like me yet? No, you don't like me yet. Almost. Almost like me. And how are we going here? Thirteen and a half percent. If I can turn this communist, then we might be in for a quick and easy defense. I'd love to get down here and take you on, and If I remember correctly, Shangji Click is actually a really good one because it has everything you need. Okay. So we have justification. Oh, where's my army? You shall get Mao Zedong as your commander. And he's good to go. And let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna try to move him through. Why, I don't even think they have a standing army. Oh. And there's my first new unit. That should be the one and only victory point that I need. <sighs> okay, we have construction one. Let's research our special weapons. Military factories. And insufficient resources, of course, we need steel. And I totally forgot about their capital. How about that? See if I can surround them and cut them off. Possibly. Give them attrition. And we gotta take all states. Front line to there. All you 
get you down to there. There's the Olympic Games. And we have taken the first of hopefully many provinces, ladies and gentlemen. And while we're at it, we're just going to join the Russian faction. Which means, in theory, we should be safe for Japan for a while. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Nerdboat. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And come back for more China Rising. Have a good one.